Hello, my name is Walter, and welcome back to another post episode reaction for you guys. And a very special hello to you, my little fans, my little subscribers, my fellow basement dwellers. Okay, so we have just watched uh, American God season 1, episode 8, the finale. Uh, it's called Come to Jesus. And uh, just a heads up before I really start to get into this episode, uh, this post episode reaction is going to be up first because you know it's about 10 and 45 in my time, 10 45 pm. So I got university. So I about to sleep early and all that so yeah this this episode was really interesting because uh we finally see the reveal of odin which is really awesome i love that visuals i love those visuals and um the one thing i, I found like weird and awkward as well from and also cool from mr world is that he's always dancing and you know uh, this time he put um dancing like dancing slender man is what i'm gonna call them because they're dancing slender man <laughs> um and this episode was a, a lot more to do with the upcoming war and you know at the end it's finally like the mr roll was like yeah you want a war we got a war so it's pretty much that and uh we also have queen sheba coming back in so that's really interesting and uh it was explained why she has the that app and um you know why she uses that app and everything so i i like how they they brought it back but i'm just like really we we waited this long for that that reveal and i, I think that's the reason why they kept this to to eight episodes because they don't want to prolong it and i think they they know like they're like oh, okay i think like we we you should keep it at it i think it is it is good enough for for this series because it does feel like a whole season already like because it's very long the running time so yeah um okay so we learned a lot about uh easter in this episode and i was like yeah that's really interesting but i really gotta look it up because i i'm not really sure about the things they're saying you know a creative license even though if it's not real but I'm just like, yeah, that kind of explains some stuff, especially with Easter and everything. And I'm like, yeah, that's that, 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 that's a good that's a good way to do it. And uh, in this episode, uh, Shadow is very much the now is very much pushed into that world and i think he's so immersed in it that he's kind of like yeah okay i, I kind of see it now like and uh, especially because he goes over to easter's house and then he sees all the jesus's i think he's like yeah okay i accept this and i really enjoyed seeing um odin explain well not really explain but you know more of telling shadow that you know it's not about different jesus's but it's about the individual and how they look into their religion and so for me that's like yeah that's really that, that makes, makes sense because you know if you're a, a human being you know we do tend to want to believe in something greater than us and i obviously do i believe in a higher power not necessarily in a religion so to say but um Hey, you know, um, prop, props to anyone who can really follow religion to the T because, you know, that's really hard to do. And for me, I'm just like, yeah, for, for the modern world to work, like, you can't really follow religion to the T because religion does not take into account the future. And that's why I think there is this argument of the new gods which make really relevant sense because they're like you know for the future to happen and we for us to move on we need to we need to update and we need to you know rebrand and redesign and all these things and you know it sounds bad yes of course it does but it is the very much so the the, the idea that is pretty interesting to be honest with you guys because religion is an old text you know it's it's depends on the person and you know they're like it, the modern person does say like you know we can interpret it the best way we should interpret it because you know religion is at its core about morals and love and kindness and all these things that are supposed to make us function as good human beings and keep us in that straight line um 
and you know to quote uh, Odin it's the fear of God that needs to be put into people so that they are not stray astray you know uh, so yeah I, I found that to be really interesting and of course coming back to what I said uh, I really love the visuals when Odin reveals himself and also the visuals when uh, Oster I don't know how to say her name, but I'm just gonna say Easter. Uh, how Easter revealed herself, that was really awesome. I'm like, wow. 10 out of 10, would watch again, man. That was fucking awesome. That was like, oh god, that scene alone. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Okay, uh, and you know, for those of you guys saying, like, I'm just doing these reaction uh, series to, to steal credit, I'm not. Okay, if I am, I wouldn't be doing this post episode reactions and you know, these afterthoughts and me talking, really talking about the episodes. I wouldn't be doing that. I'll just give you the plan reaction and that's it. And, um, you know, of course, I did that, you know, during the, the past times, but I really need to talk about it at the end. And, you know, I just felt that, okay, like. I understand now like people just want to watch it with me and that blind reaction and so I have to make another separate video to um, to talk about the episode in general and uh, playing back that playing that point into this episode as well because they did break it up uh, is that uh, about the entertainment value I think that is why you know there is this dancing slender man in uh, you know, Mr. Bristol World's crew, and I think that you know that that's very true from Mr. World. I have to say, I have to agree with him on that. I'm just like, yeah, every time, especially now for the millennials and the millennium generation, we are very much about the computers, the 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 telephones, you know, our iPads, our iPhones, our Samsungs, our uh, you know, Huawei's, this and that, and, you know. Everything is about technology these days, and I I get I get what their point is. You know, it's like yeah, you know, every time a person does something on the computer or does something, you know, on on uh, the iPhone, you know, texting people, that's considered praying to the to the thing and worshiping that thing. But you know that that's not really worshiping or praying. But I'm just saying yeah, that that makes sense because we are always on that, and you know, we are always in that virtual reality world and that's why you know so, so many of the gen x's in the uh, generation before the internet happened are like you gotta go watch more but the thing is that you know the outside world is very much digitalized so that we don't really need to go outside and but the thing is you know going outside as well is good for you you know it's for sure it's this and that and obviously you don't get you get to meet new people and that's one of their and that's one of the old gods um, uh, argument as well is that you need to push people to to pray for something and you know push them to the limit so that they're like yes I need a god like you know for example students like me you know and the point you know to like just before finals we do pray we're like oh god i hope i passed this semester so i don't need to fucking repeat it uh so yeah that that's really true as well so i really love the debates going in this i really love the arguments into it i really think that this this is a really like smart idea and i really think that they really took it in a creative way and i might look into the book one day i hope i hope i can and i hope i can find it um and yeah i, I really love this series and i hope they continue it well i think there is a second season coming up um Um, but yeah, I have to check up on that and uh, I'll have to let you guys know um, Okay, but the thing is the thing about it is that you know, I hope that they Try something different, you know, the thing about it is I, I see a lot of visualization from the book and that that's an issue only because 
I want you to adapt the book, but I also want you to do things differently. And maybe if some of you have read the book, and it's like, no, Walter, you know, this didn't happen. Maybe you can leave it down in the comments below, and I'll be like, okay, I I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Uh, but so far, I feel like we are really doing that whole book to series thing, and that you know, that's not necessarily bad. But I'm just like. I just wish that they may have done some things differently and I don't know how to explain the differences between Game of Thrones and this because it, this is really very much the visualizations from the book and I'm, I can really feel it in this one. In Game of Thrones I think they really did it properly and because like the 5 and, uh, and 6 weren't really from the books I really can see that they, they did things from themselves. like. And of course, George R. R. Martin definitely, you know, consulted on the episodes and everything. So that's that is something that that really went over well. Um, and bringing back to this this whole series is that because there isn't many people who know about this book and who don't really know about this series, I think definitely think it is maybe a, a hindrance to them as well. And I hope that me doing this and a lot of other people as well doing this get the chance to to spread the word about America Jaws because this is a really good show I, I really like that we get these mythoses back uh, because we've been really missing that in our lives and you know critic to like a critic was saying like you know with Wonder Woman we had that Greek mythology back I didn't really feel that Wonder Woman of course I'm talking about but I didn't really feel that uh, but in this uh, series you really see it like you really feel there is another world and you are obviously relating to to Shadow Moon because you're like should I do it should I not do it and uh, yeah that's about it man um, and uh, yeah um, I I enjoyed the visuals in this the most. I think a lot of it is the whole like Oster Easter revealing herself. That was really beautiful. That was really cool. And also Odin, he's like I I <clears throat> I hereby proclaim these deaths in Easter's name. And then there's a fucking bolt of fucking lightning like one whole pole not the another one in Wonder Woman where it's just one streak of lightning going into Wonder Woman but that was cool as well but this one is like one whole funnel of fucking lightning boom gone I'm like oh god <laughs> um so yeah that that was about it uh and yeah guys, I hope you guys really enjoy this because I, I really love doing these these uh, reaction videos and you know really talking about them. So if you want me to react to a series, please comment down below and if, if you want me to react to something else, maybe not uh, you know a, a series on television, maybe you want me to do some YouTube reactions or some Vine reactions, I can do that too, please. Let me know in the comments below, down below. I'll leave, I will leave you a comment saying, okay, I'll try to look into that, maybe see if I can do that. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, guys. I hope to see you more of American Gods, and I hope to see you there too. Uh, so yeah, guys, if you like this, please leave a like, and if you want to see more, please subscribe to me. And if you wanna hear more uh, news about me, uh, or you know you wanna see more videos from me, please hit that bell, because uh, YouTube now needs to people to notify themselves actually by hitting that bell. So please, if you wanna know more about my progress and you know things uh, coming up and you new know, videos coming out, please hit that bell, and uh, I will see you. At the blind reaction, I hope I get it to you fast enough and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I really hope you guys do and I'll see you in the next video. See you then.